All right, good morning and welcome to the breakfast meeting. My name is Desire Derek Ford Mugumisa. Conversations that I love to have, conversations that uh, get you thinking about different aspects of life. This morning, we are going to be speaking spiritual. Yeah, I think it's uh, safe to put it that way. Yes. I have a couple of people coming in from somewhere. Yeah, I'm just keeping it all mysterious. Until just now, when you get to meet them, I'll start with my immediate uh, right. First of all, good morning and welcome to the both of you. May we know who we have in the studios with us. Praise God. Uh, I'm called Pastor Edson Masasi, Fanero Ministries International. Ah. Uh, Yes. Pastor Edwin Masasi. Edson Masasi. Edson Masasi. Yes. Thank you. Praise um, God. Uh, and what do we have? Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ishta Chambate. I serve in Fanero Ministries International. Nice. Nice to have you guys. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. Uh, we hear a lot about you guys, about the apostle, about the people who pray with you and all of that. What is that one thing that the person who's watching you this morning but has never really heard from you, what is that one thing you want them to know about you? Yes, uh, we are a ministry that is dynamically trans, trans, uh, transforming the lives of men with the word of God. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to know Jesus Christ. It is the heart of our ministry. Mm -hmm. Uh, to transform lives. So we have different uh, programs that reach out to the source mm -hmm. through uh, the social medias. Mm -hmm. We have our services every Thursday and Sundays. Mm -hmm. And our goal really is to reach everyone for Jesus Christ. Right. And uh, especially this time around, we are excited. We are, we are celebrating 10 years mm -hmm. of preaching this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, Ishta, 10 years of Fanero, how many of those have you been there? Nine. Oh. Slightly nine and a half. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. So you're one of the early believers, the early, uh, you know, um, tell us about your experience. A historical. With <laughs> one of the historicals. <laughs> yes. yes. So uh, for me, Fanero is personal. Mm -hmm. As it is for many people. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very hard to talk about it and speak in the third person perspective. Mm -hmm. um, when I joined the ministry, I was looking for a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, to summarize it all, when I got to Fanera, and I'd been to many different ministries, I was looking for something. Mm -hmm. The word became alive, the word of God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is the thing about Fanero, the Bible becomes mm -hmm. a living talking dynamic tool in your life mm -hmm. and I was equipped with this tool through the preaching of Apostle Grace Lubega and his pastors, Pastor Zach, my Pastor Masasi here, uh, very many pastors and they taught us how to use the word to live our life and mm. it, it has, I don't want to say solved so many things mm -hmm. and sound like I'm promising, but it has solved so many things, mm -hmm. literally, yes. Mm -hmm. And for me to be seated here with Pastor Masasi on our 10th year anniversary is to tell people that they are missing out if mm -hmm. they're not there. Oh, yes. Interesting, interesting. Pastor Masasi, this is uh, one of uh, the people that you preach to every once in a while. Um, saying these things about this ministry. Yes. Uh, how does that make you feel? Ah, I, I feel uh, blessed to have such an opportunity. Mm -hmm. There is nothing comparable when with uh, having an opportunity to speak about Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. the greatest man that has ever lived mm -hmm. on planet Earth. Uh, having that uh, honor to represent him you know, the weight of any ambassador is uh, the, the country they represent. Mm -hmm. So for me to represent heaven uh, is, is uh, to, to preach the gospel like that. Mm -hmm. And also to, um, to have a message that transforms lives. You know, it's one thing to talk, but it's another when you speak and lives are changed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something to celebrate something to celebrate. Yeah, I hear you on that and you do put this in quite some strong words. Um, uh, transformation, and I speak to this because again, I work for a 
media house that mm -hmm. informs to transform. And uh, transformation is something that is measured in so many different ways. And it's, it, it becomes a pressure on the people that are challenged with causing it. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that, uh, yes, this is a ministry that you've put together to transform as many um, uh, of course, for you, you're looking at even the international scene and all of those, as many yes. people across the world as possible. Yes. How much of a burden does that get to become? Does, that, does it get to a point whereby some of you lose sleep about are people really feeling the impact? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, uh, thinking about our world and uh, how fight has come, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's uh, our heartbeat. We feel it. We feel it in our in our bones. We feel we we. It's a it's a heavy burden, mm -hmm. yet it uh, it's not difficult to carry because we are. Uh, the Bible says it's not by power, mm -hmm. not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. But even even with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. why I call it a burden is because we feel what He feels mm -hmm. because He wants to reach the world. Uh, uh, more than we need it, we, we want to see it. He is mm -hmm. more passionate than us. Sometimes he has, he has even to drag us to do more than we are doing. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So we feel it. Like even though uh, we have tens of thousands gathering with us, the next soul is very important to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. That someone has not yet received this message, we feel, we feel the urge to reach out to everybody. Mm -hmm. so, so yes, like you're saying, it's really a, a, a burden on us, but God is helping us. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will come back to you, Ishtar, now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I've heard of the perspective from the pastors, the leaders in the ministry and all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come to you um, uh, that, you know, goes to this ministry, that subscribes to this ministry. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, you get to do this in a country that is very spiritual mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of what they believe in and uh, what faith they belong to and all of that. And I want to pick your mind as uh, one of the earlier, or the historicals, like you put it, earlier. I mean, one of the things that many have faced are, you worship a person, or in terms of, you know, the words that come from the outside to you, mm. and you get to face those allegations and all of that, and why that pastor, not this pastor, why this and not this, and all of that. Have you managed to deal with that and stick with Faneru for nine and a half or so years of the 10 years that they are celebrating? Um, there's a verse in the Bible that talks about how beautiful are the feet of him who brings good news mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, preaches the word. I, I haven't gotten, I think there's a version of it in Isaiah. Yes. And again, it appears somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 50. Two seven, if I may read, yes. it says, "How beautiful upon the mountains mm. are the feet of him that brings good tidings, that publishes peace, mm. that brings good news mm. of good, that publishes salvation, that says unto Zion, Your God reigns." Mm. 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 So, if we go back to the Bible, I'm going to talk about the woman who had an issue of blood. Mm -hmm. And the story is told, I won't go into details, she sought to touch the hem of Jesus mm -hmm. for 12 years. Mm. She had been in this situation. Mm -hmm. She had spent money. She had gone to various doctors. No one had solved it. Mm. But whatever gave her the idea to touch the hem of this garment, and she did, and she pushed through the crowd, and she got her healing. Tell me why that woman won't follow this man for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. She's going to follow this man, Jesus, it was the hem of Jesus' garment, because Jesus delivered to her an answer she had sought for from so many men. Mm -hmm. It is the same now with each individual. I had the word from this particular man, mm -hmm. Apostle Grace Lubega and it transformed my life. Mm -hmm. I therefore knew that there was truth coming through this man. Why won't I follow him? Mm -hmm. Because of the truth I received through him.
-hmm. And I'm just going to flip it a bit. Political parties. Mm -hmm. Why do they follow a man? Why does one follow this person and another follow that person? Mm -hmm. Because they believe they have the answers we need. Mm -hmm. It is the nature of man to have a leader. Mm -hmm. But now imagine a leader through whom God uses to answer things that have queried you, that have played you. Um, you've gotten your healing. So for me, and that is my answer to everyone, mm -hmm. It's not about the man, it's about the God in the man. All right. Yes, and that is the one I follow. And I honor the man that has humbled himself to be mm -hmm. used that way, because it doesn't happen to everyone. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can stand on that pulpit and open the word, and bodies are healed, mm -hmm. and situations are solved. God's All right, yeah. thank you. I, I, I imagine you want to speak to the same yes. now as the pastor having to lead people who are facing this on a weekly basis. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, we serve a God, God of families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, when God created man, he gave him family, the gift of family. Mm -hmm. Now, through the gospel, men and women of God have that uh, honor to give birth spiritually. You have, mm -hmm. have, you have heard of someone called a spiritual father? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's because we are given birth to in the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so, there are different kind of families. We have a funeral family where our father is Apostle Grace. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see children, they will love their father. You can't say the children are worshiping the father. Mm -hmm. It's a family thing. Mm -hmm. We just love daddy. Mm -hmm. So he's for us, he's our father. Mm -hmm. It's personal with us. Mm -hmm. hey, the way you see a kid, when, that, when daddy comes back home, this kid runs and jumps on him. Mm -hmm. When you see us jumping on our man of God, mm -hmm. that's our dad at home. Right. Yes. Um, uh, interesting. And of course, uh, also quite insightful um, uh, for those of us that have not sat there and mm -hmm. understood the genesis mm -hmm. of why, what happens, mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, uh, I would love to pick on your story because, again, yes, you're celebrating 10 years and all of that. There's going to be an event. We're going to talk about that and all. But we need to understand what is this thing that we are celebrating? What is this concept mm -hmm. that we are celebrating and all of those? And that's why I'm asking the questions that I am. And for you, Pastor Masasi, how do you end up here? as uh, one of the pastors in this uh, ministry. Um, uh, I, I come from a sports background. You can see my ad and all of that. And you'll find that there will be a player, but every player wants to be the best player in that team. Mm -hmm. um, uh, every player wants to be the star player, the one that the fans... Okay, not every player, but many players will want to be the star of the team, the one that everyone talks about. If there's going to be coaches, the mm -hmm. head coach is the co head coach, but they... Assistant coaches might want to be the head coach as well. I can do something better. I can, and all of that. So you are a pastor, pastor. How do you end up here? Why do you in your own ministry and all of those kinds of things? What shapes that decision to say, I am Panero, and we're celebrating 10 years, and we'll celebrate more together? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'll speak like Paul. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also in our ministry, we have such a ministry that uh, uh, develops and nurtures leaders. Uh, in our ministry, when a man is born again, we have what we call discipleship classes. Mm -hmm. In these discipleship classes, we learn about very many things. Mm -hmm. And if you are a good student, that program is designed to raise a leader out of you. Mm -hmm. So through the preaching and teaching of our man of God, I was able to grow... Uh, my, uh, uh, into a leader and by the grace of God I got to be entrusted to, to, to lead and to pastor in the ministry which I find a very great privilege and this is the work of the 10 years I am not who I used to be 10 years back mm -hmm. when, when you look at the version of me 10 years back it's not uh, something nice to look at mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was, I was badly off until I met the man of God the man of God has invested in us time, he has invested in us knowledge, wisdom on a daily basis. There is no day that goes by and we don't have the word. Now that investment of the word every day for 10 years, mm -hmm. a man can only get greater. Mm -hmm. So I'm here because of the work of the man of God for all these years. Mm -hmm. Yes, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. yes. Um, uh, all right, now we get to... 
some of your biggest memories yes on a personal basis as pastor master i'm coming to you so <laughs> now you have the privilege of thinking through your answers <laughs> and all of that. but pastor master, say some of your best, biggest memories over the last 10 years mm. maybe one two three i don't know how many you have but those that stand out and just say you know what this because you know life is all about the memories that we create isn't it mm. yes mm. one of the things is um that is so fresh with me is how many ministries faded during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. And I was able to see God increase and multiply our ministry. Mm -hmm. It was something amazing to see. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we still pray for those ministries that, you know, kind of uh, struggled and still struggle. But for us as the ministry, it was a marvel to see how we went through that time. Mm -hmm. Because that, that, that time sank very many people. Mm. But God saw us through. That's, that stayed with me. But also something that then get old with me is the souls that run to Jesus Christ mm. every other week. We witness people giving their hearts to Christ. That is something we can never get used to. Mm -hmm. Especially in our crusades. We, go some, we, we have several crusades around the country. Mm -hmm. And we have... Uh, Thousands upon thousands running, literally. No matter that drone gives us that very beautiful view mm -hmm. where people are running to receive Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is something that uh, uh, stays thrilling mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. And so you can imagine for 10 years, every time there's a nota call, almost 100, at least 100 people go, go and give their lives to Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, 100 people, every service, Every Thursday and Sunday, mm -hmm. and you know the, the, our meetings like now the anniversary, mm -hmm. you imagine all those souls put together for heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, that that that's very big and worth celebrating mm -hmm. on this tenth anniversary. Nice. Um, uh, when we come back, I'll also seek for personal testimonial <laughs> that's on okay. that one. That's but okay. I'll go. I'll go to Ishtar now. Um, mm -hmm. uh, biggest memories over the last nine and a half plus years for you. Allow me to make it personal, since I have the pastor <laughs> <laughs> to give the corporate version yes um so we have been having our fellowships and we have our fellowships thursday fellowships at uma showgrounds mm -hmm. every thursday mm -hmm. and by some amazing grace thursday evenings the people will turn up mm -hmm. and we started with the three thousand 5,000, 6,000. I know we're beyond 10,000 now on the grounds. What used to be parking is now sitting ground. Mm -hmm. But um, one of my most memorable experiences was one of those days, evenings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's open. There's no place that is shaded that can host a Fanero meeting now, mm -hmm. the Thursday one. And by God's grace, it has not been raining. Mm -hmm and it doesn't rain. But on one of those days, the sermon was on and the heavens literally opened up, and I say literally, and it poured. It didn't drizzle, mm -hmm. it poured. Um, but nobody moved. Mm. We stayed on the ground. You remember that? Yes, yes. We stayed on that ground and listened to that word. And I'd like to tell you that this congregation is predominantly youthful, mm -hmm. predominantly youthful. Mm -hmm. And when we say predominantly youthful, a big proportion of them are below the age of 30. Mm -hmm. I won't call them kids because I am relatively mm -hmm. older. I have so many things to do on Thursday evenings, especially mm -hmm being on a wet ground mm -hmm. and it's raining we stayed listened to the word and the praise and worship was amazing mm -hmm. now for me that sticks out as a sign of the hunger for god that we all have specifically our youth it it was very refreshing for mm -hmm. me that memory there are very many memories but mm -hmm. that one really sticks out for me oh. Yeah. That's, that's, that's powerful. Mm. That's powerful. Um, uh, it definitely means a lot to all of you um, mm. uh, as, as people yes. that are subscribed to this ministry. And I see why the 10th of August 2024 
becomes so important. Mm. Um, uh, that's, by the way, the day they celebrate 10 years mm. um, uh, as a ministry. Um, I'm still going to come back to you and you'll tell me mm. why the first six months you are not there. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 10 years celebration, what does this mean? Um, it, as, as the pastor, I'm sure you've been, you know, in the environs of the apostle um, uh, quite a bit. So if you try to put it in, in words, what, what do you think it means to him that you were about to celebrate 10 years of existence? Uh, this always comes uh, big. <laughs> especially to the man of God, mm -hmm. to, to see how far God has brought us as a ministry. Because ministries don't, don't just grow to hundreds of thousands like, just like that. Mm -hmm. hey. And so it has been literally God lifting us, mm -hmm. God carrying us. Mm -hmm. And every other year, we don't just multiply the normal multiplication of you know, the predictable multiplication. Mm -hmm. And so we are always eager to see that multiplication effect of God. Mm -hmm. Like it's tomorrow. Those grounds uh, that were going to be on the funeral grounds, people have already started coming from across the world. It's breathtaking. Amazing. It's like an exodus from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And for us to, we have that, that uh, yearning to see what does God have for us tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So for, for the man of God, it's, it's, it's uh, like I said, it is his heartbeat. Because for such a day, we look forward to especially the, the harvesting of the source. Mm -hmm. That's what our man of God always looks at. The harvesting of souls for the kingdom. Because Jesus Christ left us this work. It's the only work we have. We have a lot to celebrate, but that is the biggest thing right. to celebrate, mm -hmm. watching people make that decision. Okay. Yes. And uh, just tell us now about this event. Where is it? What time is it? What do I have to prepare to be a part of it? Mm -hmm. uh, do I have entrance fee to deal with? Mm -hmm. All these things, please. So, um, mm -hmm. the event is going to be at our home. Mm. We have a new home, mm -hmm. uh, Naguru Grounds, Panero Naguru Grounds. It's in Naguru. Mm -hmm. It's on, uh, along Naguru Road. It's called Naguru Road, but it's the road that's behind um, Umasho Grounds and Game Complex. Mm -hmm. You know that little road behind there? Mm -hmm. It's along that road. Uh, we've set up. We're looking forward to very many people. The doors open at, the gates open at, the grounds open at 10. A.M. Mm -hmm. A.M. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Everyone is welcome. There right. is no fee to pay. Mm -hmm. There is no requirement. Mm -hmm. Word is, come as you are. All right, just a moment yes. uh, about the location. Mm. I'm going to paint a picture. We are at Lugogo Cricket Oval mm. on Ginger Road. Mm. Direct me. I am at the traffic lights at Cricket Oval. So how do I access the grounds? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the traffic lights at Cricket Oval. Mm -hmm. The junction. The junction. Yes. The junction that goes into Kololo. Uh, there is Lugogo uh, bypass, then there is Ginger Road continuing up in front okay. of uh, Lugogo Okay, let's Mall. go to Ginger Road then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are at the lights. Mm -hmm. uh, we turn onto Ginger Road, mm -hmm. like we're going towards Nakawa. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what we're going to do, we pass the game complex mm -hmm. and turn in on that small road that takes you to KCCA grounds. Okay, yes. the football pitch, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. There's going to be parking there, mm -hmm. around there, mm -hmm. and also... At Opposite the pitch, there is a parking. Yes, yeah, there's yes. going to be parking there. Yeah. Now, that small road will now lead you to what they call Naguru Road. Okay. Yes? Yes. yes. Now, once you get to Naguru Road, mm -hmm. it's going to be... It's along that road. Okay. You won't fail. There'll be, people, there'll be people to direct you. Okay. It's the ground across. All right. Yes. 
actually. The beautiful thing, when I remember when Fanero began, yeah. we were about a thousand people. Yeah, the first, the first meeting. The first thousand. meeting were a thousand. Wait, you began with a thousand people. <laughs> Do you understand what that means? <laughs> We began with a thousand people. That's 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 a huge number, friend. Uh huh. Yes. But now the people that are serving are more than one thousand. Interesting. Just those those serving. Yes. So anyone who gets to those. So all you have to get to is KCCA football ground. Yes. And there will be someone oh, to guide boy. you. Oh boy, there will be someone to guide you. There will be someone to. Guide I go to Chadondo Rugby Club. Often, and uh, I have seen those people stop the traffic and yes, all of that. So, yes. yeah, you can count on these guys. They will, yes. they will, they will definitely guide yes. you there. Yes. yes. All right. So, 10 a.m. arrive. Uh, arrive. We are all welcome. And there will be activities. There's from no entrance fee. Ah, no me, I'm not yet interested in the activities. <laughs> How much do I pay to <laughs> no enter? No <laughs> fee. There's no fee. There's no, no fee whatsoever. Fee the word of God was freely given to us. All right. And now I'm open to hearing it. what yeah. the activities are. Now that I know, <laughs> <laughs> there'll, there'll be many activities. There'll be there'll be games. There'll mm -hmm. be gospel ministers. Mm -hmm. There'll be there's of course going to be food on the grounds oh. sold. Food vendors. Okay. Uh, there'll be, I've talked about gospel ministers, there'll be, um, we're having an international gospel artist, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, mm -hmm. who is in the country as I speak right now, nice. who mm -hmm. is going to minister. He's renowned all over the world. We're so honored to have him. Mm -hmm. And of course, the word, yes. the word from our pastors, mm -hmm. And the word from Apostle Grace Lubega. Amazing. Yes. Sounds like a great day. 10 a.m. I arrive. How, what time am I planning on leaving? Uh, the program uh, uh, goes latest 8. Latest. 8 p.m. Latest, latest 8, yes. Yeah, so set aside your day yes. mm -hmm. for a very worthy cause. It's going to be powerful. Amazing. Secure. There's security mm -hmm. for every single car. Mm -hmm. Your cars will be secure. Mm -hmm. You will be secure. Nice. And also come celebrate with us. This is our first meeting in our home. Yes. Nice. Isn't it? Oh, it will yes. be the first there. In yes. our home, yes. And then subsequently all the other meetings will be held there? We, we, we hope so. We, we hope so. We plan so. All right. So where were you the first six months? I ask myself that very question. <laughs> I was Clearly like, you have no what? Yet. No, <laughs> I actually no. I didn't know about it. Yeah. Although ignorance is not an excuse, but rightfully so, I didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this interesting story. I was somewhere else, and they used to have Bible study, and I had friends there. But for some reason, whenever I went for Bible study, I'd fall asleep. And so this particular day, I said, "But God." If today I fall asleep, in, I'm, I don't like sleeping, but if today I fall asleep, it will be a sign to me that I'm not meant to be here. You better open up a door. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look anymore. Mm -hmm. I go for this Bible study, and I fall asleep again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the comfort of sitting in a chair and hearing someone talk, but honestly, I won't blame anyone. I think that was just my way of the Spirit dealing with me. So after the meeting... I'm talking to friends I had made there. And just to be accountable, I tell them, guys, this, this is not for me. Mm -hmm. I seem to be missing something, and I'm a bit embarrassed mm -hmm. about sleeping through. So they asked me, what are you looking for? So I explained. I said, I want life. I know there's life in the Bible. There must be something that grips you. That mm -hmm. So they said, oh, there's a new fellowship that has sprung up in town. It's mm -hmm. called Fanero and they meet on Thursdays. This was a Monday. Mm -hmm. They meet on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you come? One of the ladies is telling me. My cousin is an usher there. I'll ask her to keep a seat for you on that day. So uh, you know, exactly. <laughs> I don't but, think you guys understand the problems, but you, the you, first world problems uh, we had at the start. <laughs> but so I was like, okay. Yeah. But of course, I was like, I'm not going to do this again. But then I remembered, I told God, I slept. If I sleep again, you must show me. Mm -hmm. And this was shown to me. I was like, this could be God speaking. Mm -hmm. 
So Thursday, traps and indeed the cousin had kept a seat, the, my friend's cousin. Mm -hmm. And I sit. I'll be honest with you, the first service, I understood nothing. The word was mm. deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but something felt right here. You didn't sleep? I didn't sleep. Mm. I had to figure out what I didn't understand. Nice. So I started looking for more sermons. Mm -hmm. I started looking, I started asking questions. Mm. And here we that are. was April 2015. I've here never left. <laughs> well done. Yes. Uh, Pastor Masasi uh, looks like you guys are onto something. You guys are, you know, it doesn't look, you are definitely onto something <laughs> there. Yes. And uh, 10 years now. 10 years more sometime, 2034, uh, we'll be here mm -hmm. talking about mm -hmm. uh, 20 years anniversary. Mm -hmm. And you will still be here? Yes, my You feel that way? Of course. Amazing. Of you course. will also maybe. be testifying. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. Um, uh, but yes, uh, big, uh, big, big stuff happening. And I really hope that, you know, everything will come through. Do you Thanks expect God. any other people other than you, people from Uganda, away mm. from the people who are performing and the ones mm. you've said will be ministering and all of that. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ministers? No, 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 the attendees. Atten oh yeah. boy, oh boy. People came in as, uh, uh, la began coming in like last week. Mm -hmm. The people who came, uh, I have personal people who came way back just to, mm. to serve. Mm. Nice. From across the nations. Yeah. Yes. So yes, people are coming from all over the world. To be a part of this. To be a, you can't miss. If the day you attend, mm -hmm. you don't need to be invited for the next uh, next time. Oh, yeah? Yes. It's, a, it's all about that first time then? Yes. All right. Well, we have a uh, testimonial here as well. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, we are first point on time, so I'm just going to allow us uh, some 30 seconds or so for final remarks. I'll start with Ishtar. Uh, oh. First of all, just to add on to Pastor Masasis, yeah. by yesterday we had registered 20 nations from across the world, Asia, oh, America, Europe, yes. In attendance. 20 nations. Nice. In total, there were uh, about 200 people mm -hmm. in total. From those different But that's nations. as of yesterday. Many more are flying in today. Mm -hmm. And even on the day of, they, they come in. Mm -hmm. So, nice. uh, but I, knew, I also need to say that Fanero is present in those nations through um, an arm called Manifest, mm -hmm. uh, their fellowships. Mm -hmm. But my last words, hmm, please come. You will not regret it. And mm. this is not promotional talk. It's not, it's someone who has experienced the word of God. And indeed it's living and it's dynamic and it will change you. Come and taste for yourself. Those are my final words. Amazing. Pastor Masasi, the floor is yours. Close this one for us. Praise God. Uh, 30 seconds are too few. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to use it as uh, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. I, we want to invite everybody. Come and experience the power of God. There's going to be healings. I, I, like, I love to see the healings. Uh, on that day, people get healed of different kinds of things. I also like to see the salvations. But also, I want to use the next 15 seconds to ask someone if you'd like to receive Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I would want to help lead you to make that decision. You could be there and you say, I want to receive Jesus. You're just going to say these words with me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I receive you in my heart as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Congratulations. You're now born again. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Fanero Grounds in Naguru. God bless you so much. Thank you so much, Amen. Pastor Masasi, and I'm very glad to have you. Ishtar, thank you so much thank as well for so making much. the time. Thank you as for well. For sharing, and uh, Ishtar, especially for going, given as personal as you did. Um, uh, you know, as, as far as your story is concerned, Pastor Masasi, great job and uh, work that you're doing for the kingdom, and I uh, wish you all the best tomorrow. Thank you so much. Going forward. Thank you so much. All right, thank ladies you. and gentlemen, that was that breakfast meeting, that conversation with our people from Fanero Ministries International. They're celebrating 10 years of existence tomorrow at the new Fanero Naguru grounds Praise around God. Nakawa area. There. Yes. All you have to do is get to the Omondi Stadium. 
Yes. The KCCA yes. FC Stadium. Yes. By the time you approach those areas, there will be people to guide yes. you to where you are going. Uh, they start at 10 a.m. tomorrow and they'll go all the way through the day to latest 8 p.m. So plan your day. Go out there. Uh, and this entrance is free for those of you who might be um, uh, fearing, uh, you know, what you have to part with to get in there. All right, that was that. We'll be closing it on this note. And of course, a couple more conversations and much more content will continue to come your way right here on NBS TV. So keep it there.